morning guys how's it going so we are out here today to just break down and look at my summertime haversack uh camping loadout um i wanted to take and just do a dedicated gear breakdown video before we actually take it out on a overnighter that way if people have a lot of questions stuff about, about the gear and stuff that will be used in that video i can then just refer them to this video all this gear will be down in the description box so if you uh, want to check it out that's where you need to go and do you clicking let's just jump right into it now this is not just including the contents of the haversack itself my water carrying vessel and cook system is my vault can titanium canteen set um, so that is on the outside i do have things lashed to the straps of the haversack itself plus we're also going to be counting the items that i always have on my person in my pockets and around my neck because our shemag here very multifunctional and it's going to be our uh, ground cloth today to lay your items on so there's uh, some contrast for you guys to be able to see the items once i get them moved and laid out So yes, here's all of my main pieces of gear. Set this stuff aside and go over what is inside of our pockets, or EDC. And then you'll see how we expand on a lot of those concepts uh, by diving into the bag itself. Always take and have my pistol with me. Glock 17 Gen 4, 17 rounds of ammunition in the magazine. The odds of even being in a situation where one of those rounds is going to come into play has uh, yet to happen. But we got 17 if we need them. Then here is the OERLA pocket knife. I've been carrying this for a hot minute now. Holds an edge very nicely. Same pocket, I just have my wallet, which is an absolute mess. Identification. Then on my left side, I've got this large tracker knife from Wayland Outdoors. It has also been holding edge very well. It's a good chopper. Uh, it can baton stuff like nobody's business. It's our main cutting tool. Now over in this left cargo pocket, I always have a packet of bleed stop. This is mainly just for like your more minor cuts. If I just want to whip this out, open it up, pour it on a wound. If it's uh, bad enough, I've got uh, severe bleeding control stuff inside our haversack. And then we also have our shemag, which we can use uh, as bandaging material if we needed to. And then I tend to always have just a couple of these little waterproof fire plugs in my cargo pocket as well. Just really quick, easy, and simple to reach in to get a fire going. Then over in my right cargo pocket, I always like to carry a ferro rod with me. I would prefer to have this on my person versus it being in the bag because with these pockets being closed, uh, the odds of this getting lost is next to zero. Now in my left pocket right here, I got a Gerber multi-tool. And then I believe this is meant to be like a pocket knife pocket. And this is something brand that I've not even had an opportunity to uh, start a fire with this yet. A uh, black beard electric waterproof windproof lighter. So I know for a fact that it works. I've started, uh, I've lit some candles and stuff with it. I think that's pretty nifty. I've yet, I've never took and got one of these uh, arc lighters before. So. That's something we'll play around with and have some fun. There's everything that I carry on my person, so that's gonna be with me no matter what. Okay, so that alone covers uh, a lot of stuff just with what we have in our pockets. Now here is my Vault Can uh, Titanium Canteen Set. I think I've been using this pretty much ever since I started uh, you know, dedicating a lot of time, energy, and resources to this YouTube channel. But in case you haven't seen it, in the front pocket, I have some uh, tea bags that I forgot was in there. This is the hanging wire, which will allow you to use the canteen cup and pan that is in this kit as a hanging pot. So you have the ability to suspend it over a fire. You can also use that, rig it up with a toggle, open this up and suspend your canteen over your fire as well. Right here is the lid that fits both the canteen cups. Okay, here is your 750 milliliter titanium canteen cup. And then off the top of my head, I don't remember what the capacity of this is. I think it's 400 milliliters, but as for a single person cook system, these things uh, are great. Yet to be in a situation where me fixing my own singular meals wasn't able to be accomplished by using one of these two vessels. Alrighty, so now touching on the other items that are on the exterior of our haversack to my strap using these awesome new straps that I just got, and I can't believe I hadn't heard about them before. 
but these are called uh, the Infinity Tool Strap uh, by a company of the name M-O-D-L. Super strong, super stretchy. Uh, you can connect them together. This is like my first time uh, using them uh, in a kit loadout, in a kit setup, but I'm, I've got a black pair of these as well, um, and they're just gonna come in really nice to lash stuff to your bag where they're made of this rubberized material where this is just a, a straight flat strap. It takes and holds on, grips it very well. Uh, and then this right here is my high speed daddy wooby. More than enough for uh, summertime use even on those uh, chilly summer nights. Also on my strap here on the outside, this is just a luxury item, not necessary. This is a Blackfire Bluetooth speaker. Use this on the kayaking trip for three days straight, and when we left, it was still on 50% battery life. It's heavily water resistant, um, great sound, um, and it's just there's so many different things you can do with this to uh, suspend it from trees, or uh, depending on what other gear you have with you, clip it on your belt. Uh, if there's anything around it that's magnetic, it's got a very powerful magnet on the back. So that is uh, just our entertainment option. To the outside with the carabiner, I got a pair of my mechanics gloves. To the outside, just quick, easy access. This time of year, there's so many, you know, when you're bushwhacking, going through brush, brambles, you got briars, you got thorns. Uh, it's really good to protect your hands when you can. Just reach up, you know, break something off, pull something out of the way. Um, and you know you ain't got to worry as much about injuring yourself. And then the final two items that are on the outside of my haversack clipped to this little exterior loop is here I have a flex tail tiny repel uh, mosquito and insect repellent. Um, not got a chance to test this out in the field yet but the build quality is phenomenal and you also have the benefit of having a uh, extra light. Okay that's the wrong one. There we go. So this can serve as a lantern around camp. Right now it's the middle of of the day so can't really tell the brightness it's supposed to have a good long uh, performance burn time when i say burn time that's just like with the little cartridges that go in this uh, to keep the insects away um, it's supposed to have long battery life up top here this is something i just got in the mail as well so this is uh, from ravi vaughn i've used uh, some of their keychain lights in my personal edc carries and some of my kit videos um, but this thing glows in the dark also kind of impossible to show you guys right now in the light but i have this on here because one it's a backup flashlight in the event that there uh you know was an emergency and my main headlamp in my bag was to give out but the main thing is it's got a light here on the outside in white and it's also got a, a red light if you take and hold that down there we go there's the red light you double tap it and so i have this so if it's late in the evening or at night i can take and hang this up at my camp if i need to go like further away to use the bathroom to do any cooking or if i take and hang my bag up i can turn this on and uh, then if for whatever reason you get turned around uh, or it gets a lot darker a lot quicker than you expected um, then you can have your essential gear marked and make it a lot easier uh, to find in the dark thought that was just a really cool thing and plus it also has like flashing options and everything else for signal if you so needed it for that reason time to get into the real meat and taters of this kit and open up our main bag so at the very top here i have my aus camo tech poncho could be an uh, emergency shelter but i like having this at the top because here in the mountains this time of year thunderstorms rainstorms just stray showers can uh, pop up just in the blink of an eye very short notice so having that at the top where you can just really quickly take it out throw it over yourself and uh, get out of the weather is crucial. These are not at the top for any reason, but just an extra pair of socks, because if you're gonna be camping overnight, like with these boots right here, these Belleville boots have been amazing, um, but I purposely got these for summertime use because these are not waterproof. Like whenever it's warmer weather, you're better off if your feet are gonna get wet, uh, just have a shoe that's fast drying, and you know, you can hang them up. Uh, if you have a fire, you have the option to have a fire, you can uh, set them up, let them dry out that way. Um, and then it just sleep in, <clears throat> sleep in a dry pair of socks and uh, your life will be a lot easier and a lot happier for that. Now the thing that takes up the majority of the room in this haversack kit is our shelter system and that's because this is a very luxurious uh, camping setup because we got our Sun Year hammock which you guys have seen me use uh, in some of the past hammock videos and also in some pretty inclement weather. And then in our last hammock video, I was using my new tarp, and this is the lightweight 10 by 12 bare hard uh, ripstop nylon tarp. And I mean, I finally figured out the best way to fold this to get this back down to the form factor, and the fact that it takes up less uh, room makes up 
less weight than even our hammock here is pretty incredible because you could really take and be just fine rocking with run with a tarp like this and a bug net set up or even without a bug net but the way that ants and insects have been this year it's just been ridiculous i mean you'd be pretty miserable and that would turn this from a, a nice well-rounded camping loadout into more of a uh, survival type of loadout now going back to the first aid thing we talked about we got our bleed stop we got our shemag but then uh, up front here which is very easily accessible just by throwing this thing open reaching down to the front center section here has got a cat tourniquet like you know if you was to take and fall and impale yourself on a broken tree branch while you're trying to cross over a fallen log if you slip and severely injure yourself with your knife uh, you accidentally shoot yourself somebody shoots you who knows we got a high quality cat's tourniquet to take care of that and then just some compressed gauze which could be used to you know stuff inside a wound or just clean uh, around the exterior area if you wanted to take and put the bleed stop on it then take and dress it with this and then wrap your shemag around it i mean there's a million different uh potential uses for something like that Oh, and then to go along with their tarp, this is the, uh, the six stakes that come with the bare hard tarp. I thought just a lot easier to uh, throw these in here. I've got a set of six titanium tent stakes coming in, uh, and they're a bit longer than these. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting those, and that's what will be replacing these in a kit like this and like other kits to come. Got the almighty toilet paper, you know, got to have it. Depending on where you're at, uh, you know, the whole using leaves method and everything's great, like mountain magnolia leaves or what I consider the creme de la creme. But, uh, like, there's not, there's, there's not a mossy landscape in most of the places I go because I know moss is kind of like the go-to for wilderness toilet paper but that's just rarely ever uh around anymore in most of the places i go hey okay, so also for shelter and you like just emergency cover or if for whatever reason it was very very high winds um and you just needed that extra bit of warmth you could take and wrap yourself in this emergency space blanket wrap your wooby around you and then put your poncho on over that and i mean to me personally from what i've experienced just by using a poncho and a poncho liner um even in high winds like you're pretty good down into like the 40s so great thing to have doesn't take up much space and we know by now that these uh titan survival emergency blankets are the most like bulletproof mylar style blanket on the market at the moment now even though my tarp is pre-tied at all the main corners as i would use it with my hammock the way i used it in the last setup i do have a 50 foot hank of 550 cord Okay, and then there's some like rent there's some stray 22 bullets in here and those have nothing to do with this kit I just took and used this when I was squirrel hunting one day this past winter Okay, oh, yeah, and I don't even know if I mentioned but so the haversack itself is a, a camp craft outdoors haversack I've used it in a couple past videos. I, I mean, I, and I've just used a lot in general uh, During the colder months, but holding up great. It's wax canvas So it will repel water if it's just like a light shower You want to go ahead and power through and this is one of their wax canvas zip top bags and this is where i have a lot of my smaller items got a case of these choctaw fire tabs i've been using those a lot it's jute twine that's been impregnated with wax here i have a battery bank that i could use to recharge my headlamp or my cell phone here is my Science sky hs6r headlamp one of my favorite all-time headlamps the one that i use the most Okay, and here at the bottom, this right here is a sewing kit that I've put together inside an Altoids tin can. And there is also a roll of that SOL duct tape in here. Okay, right here in this County Comms Titanium uh, Vault. This is what I like to keep medication in. 600 milligram ibuprofen, Benadryl, hydroxazine, and electrolyte tablets. This thing's waterproof, keeps everything together nice and tidy. Here's the USB-C cable that fits my phone and my headlamp. That's DD2 is... Everything I have is compatible when it comes to charging. I always like to go with USB-C. I'm just making sure there's not an ant in my drink. Okay, so this goes with uh, something that's still in the bag. We'll get to in a second. So the final two, well, I guess the final three things I have in here um, is I got a toothbrush and toothpaste. And then here I have a 128 gigabyte USB-C uh, storage drive for uh, for recording reasons to, uh, in case I run out of storage on whatever it is I'm recording on, I can plug this in, transfer the files real quick, and then go right back to recording so I don't have to worry about the, uh, the length of the video. Items. Here is my Cuvic Titanium Long-Handled Spork. I have lost the bag that goes to this. It is in some of my, it's in like another one of my bags somewhere, um, but they have got separated, so I've got to try to find them. 
even though it's summertime in the evenings and in the morning uh if you ain't going with coffee which i normally do uh, but i really really have got into uh, having tea in uh, in the evenings and or at night so these right here are biodegradable tea bags and this is some uh, full leaf tea company organic northwest sunset and all i know is i love mint tea and this has got mint in it so i'm looking forward to trying it not tried this particular one yet but their black english breakfast tea that i got was very good then to make my life easy the final items that are in this bag that should be in this bag I didn't even know there. I didn't know there was a carabiner on the inside. I didn't even... More than enough food. Uh, I really, really like these Star Kissed Creation uh, Retort Package meals. Like these are pretty much like what you would have in an MRE, just your uh, consumer version. But got buffalo style chicken, uh, Thai chili tuna. Above, oh, like I've got two of each of those. Um, so you know to have like maybe just one of these as like a quick in between lunch and dinner and then personally I would eat two or three of these for dinner you can eat them hot you can eat them cold um, there's still plenty of room in this haversack to add in other food items like if you want to have these and also bring along like a bag of rice um, you could have yourself a beautiful delicious meal with like minimal weight and minimal space being took up because like you have all that food right there and it just slides right into these two dividing pockets right here. And there you have it guys, just that's all the gear laid out. Everything does uh, fit on just your standard size Shimog with plenty of room to spare. So a lot of items, it's really not that heavy. I do not have the exact weight numbers. I need to take it by me a hanging scale so that I can start providing that information uh, just for your reference. I took and walked around with this load out for probably I don't know, maybe half a mile, just uh, just in and around and about. Didn't notice any issues with the uh, the strap or anything digging into my shoulder. Uh, one thing you can do to help with that is while you have your Shimog on, just take and roll your uh, Shimog or fold it a little bit. Put it underneath. Uh, me personally, I like to wear my water container, which is also full draping across the same shoulder strap so that it's sitting here in front. Really easy just to open, lift, drink, set her back down. Um, and that way it's not beating against my gun on my right side but if you just want to kind of just like run an x carry system over your shoulders and have the water uh then being supported by your left shoulder you can go that route that's going to do it for this one really look forward to taking this out and doing the overnight camping video with this so do stay tuned for that i'm going to try to catch some some rainy weather just to make it uh, a little bit cooler out and to also uh, just enjoy the sound of uh, rain on this large tarp. I can't. I, I really want to take and keep pushing this large tarp to see how much it can handle. Really appreciate taking time to watch the video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with a channel, with your friends, family, anybody that enjoys outdoor activities and or just gear videos such as this. Pretty much everything here will be linked down in the video description. There's also a link to my personal eBay page and there will be a link to the Pike Trail Chair giveaway video because that's gonna be ending in a couple of days at the very end of this month. This month being May, 2023. So if you haven't went over that video, hopped in the comment section, commented giveaway, then make sure you do because it's a really nice chair. Till the next one, boys. Adios.